Whoa! I didn't realize I had cool shades just kind of hanging out on top of my keyboard. It's awesome! I'm gonna go wear those. What's going on, Shuckle Fox? Welcome to Clangerang. What's Clangerang, you ask? It's only the greatest show on YouTube. It's a show where we look at the classics of video games. And only the classics. Today, we're gonna take a little look at Donkey Kong. But not that Donkey Kong! We're talking about old school Donkey Kong. Back when he was a princess kidnapping badass and not some banana-loving dweebus. We're talking about old school arcade Donkey Kong, back when he played as Mario, a game that was so classic that they actually made a documentary about it, because, you know, they only make documentaries about games that are instant classics. But even though original Donkey Kong is an absolute classic, it's not the game we're talking about today. No. Today we're looking at the Game Boy port of Donkey Kong, otherwise known as Donkey Kong 94. Let's fucking go. When you first start playing Donkey Kong 94, it seems like it's gonna be exactly the same as the arcade version. You go through the construction site, and the pie factory, and Springland, and the Charmander plant, and then you're like, well, that's over. That was a fun couple minutes, glad I spent money on that, but then, whoa! Where's it going? What's happening? Is that a world map? What? Looks like you got fooled, son, because Donkey Kong 94 is actually 100 levels of puzzle platforming genius and one of the greatest puzzle platformers ever made. Pretty soon, you're flipping switches and getting keys and putting them in doors and doing backflips and whatever that is, and it's really fun. The levels require a nice balance of platforming skill and intellectual fortitude. You're gonna need to know exactly what you need to do in order to solve every level, and then doing it is not gonna be that easy. The levels are pretty short, you get a lot of lives from bonus games, and the game saves pretty often, so it's a really nice game just to unwind with or play for a couple minutes on a car ride or train ride or something. Which is good, because it's on a Game Boy. Unlike some other bullshit games, Donkey Kong 94 takes the gameplay mechanics from the original Donkey Kong and some from Donkey Kong Jr., and adds a couple new ones in order to make a ridiculously tight platforming experience. Old Jumpman controls better in this game than he has in any other 2D or 3D Mario game, and if you disagree with me on that, I want you to actually play the game, and I want you to take a picture of your face once you realize how goddamn wrong you are, and send it to me on Twitter with the hashtag Donkey Kong wrong face. Is the soundtrack any good? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. But you don't need to take my word for it, you can listen to it yourself. Wait a second. My, my Game Boy speaker is broken. I did not think this through. What about the graphics? They're pretty decent. A lot of Game Boy games are either so zoomed out the graphics are unrecognizable, or so zoomed in that the game is unplayable. Donkey Kong 94 strikes a nice balance between those. You can see everything on screen, which is especially important for a puzzle platformer, but everything also has a lot of charm and a lot of visual appeal to it, which is nice. It makes good use of the Game Boy's four-color palette, unlike some other Donkey Kong games, which are... It's also one of the few games that take special advantage of the Super Game Boy to look even nicer, but I don't have a Super Game Boy. So, have some pictures that I stole off of Google. But overall, you ask, would I recommend Donkey Kong 94 for the Game Boy? Have you missed the rest of my video where I praised it? Do I need to repeat myself? Of course I would, it's a fucking masterpiece. You can get it on the 3DS eShop for some money, or you can get the cartridge version for also some money. And no matter what way you play it, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be absolutely a ton of fun. And if you like puzzle platformers or just platforming in general, you're gonna love it. It's an absolute banana slammer. Out of five. No, if you excuse me, I gotta go get that motherfucker Diddy. You dead, Diddy! You fucking dead!